Hello everyone, welcome to day 27 of the December Elite Coach Challenge and I hope all of you are in best of your spirits. Let's quickly walk through today's question. Today's question is number complement. In this question, we are given an integer value. We need to identify the complement of that integer number. How do we define a complement? We represent the number in binary format. We check whether the current bit is 1. If it is 1, we update it to 0 in the complement value. If the bit is 0, we update it to 1. So we just toggle all the bits present in that binary representation. And whatever final number is generated out of this, we need to return that. For example, here the integer value is specified as 5. The binary representation of 5 is 101. If we take the complement of this binary representation, what do we get? 010. And if we map this binary representation to an integer value, it will map to 2. We need to return 2 as the answer. We'll be solving this question by two approaches. So let's quickly move on to the PPT where we'll talk about how to go about it. Number complement, lead code 476. It's an easy level question on lead code and I totally feel the same. So let's take the same example that was specified in the question. We have the input number as 5. We represent this number in binary format and the binary representation of 5 is 101. What do we do? Let's uh, take the bit one by one. Let's iterate through all the bits of 5 one by one and let's check what is the current value at that bit. If the value is 1, we will toggle it to 0. And if the value is 0, we will toggle it to 1 to generate the answer variable. How will, I, how will we do that? Let's walk through one iteration so that we can explain. So we know that uh, the power here is 2 raised to power 0. The power of 2 here is 2 raised to power 1. The power of 2 here is 2 raised to power 2. And so on in the binary representation. So let's get started. The first bit that gets extracted is 1. It turns out to be 1. So we have to toggle it up. So we will use 0 as a reference. So 0 gets multiplied with 2 raised to power 0. So 0 into 2 raised to power 0 contributes to 0. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is 0. So we have to toggle this up. If we toggle 0, what will we get? We get 1. We have to multiply 1 with 2 raised to power 1. So we'll add 2 raised to power 1 into 1 to the answer. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is 1. We have to toggle this bit to 0. So 0 into 2 raised to power 2. And what do we get? 2 raised to power 2 into 0. Uh, this contribution leads to 0. This contribution leads to 0. The only thing is that is left is 2. So the answer becomes 2, which is in sync with our expectation. Let's talk about the other approach. We have 5 as 101. So what is the complement of 5? One complement of 5 is 2, which is represented as 010. If I add these two up, what do I get? 1 1 1 and what number is represented by this the number represented by this is 7 so what we are interested in finding out we are interested in finding out that minimum number containing all bits set to 1 which has the same length as the input number uh, what is the length of the bit set in the input number it is 3 so we want to identify the number containing all the set bits of the same length as the input number which is 3 and once we have that uh, once we have that number generated which in this case would be 7 we can subtract the current number from it and that will lead to the complement of 5 so what we are doing here is we are simply subtracting triple 1 uh, minus 101 which gives us 2 and this gives us 10 0, uh, 010 0. and this is what we are going to do so let's quickly walk through the coding section and uh, let's walk through both these approaches. Let's walk shoot for the first one first. I have taken a multiplying factor for building the answer variable. New number will store the final answer that I need to return till the time my number is not equal to zero. I check what is my current bit in the binary representation of num. If it is equal to zero, then I use one as the value. If it is equal to one, then I use zero as value. And once I have the binary representation of my of my complements number, I multiply it with the multiplying factor and add it to my new number. For the next iteration, I update my multiplying factor by 2 and also I reduce the number by 2 because we have consumed one bit and we now want to look for the next possible bit. In the end, we simply return the new number or the complement number that we have generated. Let's try this up. Accept it 100 times faster. Let me just comment this up. And let me just walk through you through the other other solution. Here I have taken two variables, number and power. 
until the time my number is less than the input number that is given to us i keep on generating the minimum number having the same number of bits set as the input number and once i have done that i simply subtract it from nums pretty simple and straightforward again so the time complexity of this approach is 100 times faster also both these approaches take constant time because the number of set bits in a number can be up to 32 so the time complexity is constant time this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for being it have a great day here and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye